Alrighty, so I promised to do a thousand dollar build. You guys liked the last one that I did with the, uh, what I would build with uh, the current sale. So this one is strictly a thousand dollar build that almost anybody with no skill can build this computer. I uh, purposely chose really easy parts. It isn't super complicated. Uh, first off, I chose this motherboard just because of the price decrease. Uh, $89 for 90 bucks. You can't get something better. It's got two GPU. GPU support, uh, two different color RAMs, which is a big deal. That means you'll have multiple channels. Also means you can use different kinds of sticks. You, like you don't have to use the exact same ones. Like I had a problem with, uh, I have three different XPGs and it wouldn't work with my computer because one was a 2400, one was a 2666, and two were 3000, and it wouldn't work. But if I had a board like this, it would work. No no problem so i definitely recommend this kind i do like the giant brick at the back it shouldn't interfere with anything it doesn't look high enough to interfere with anything and it has everything you could possibly need a decent amount of usbs mouse port it i don't like that it doesn't have two but it's not the end of the world you're going to be using those two mouse and keyboard in the 2.0s and then, yeah, from there, you can just pretty much use whatever you want. Uh, next, what I chose is uh, the same kind of fans. I just added a two-pack. You're going to have one fan left over in case of emergencies, I guess. Uh, I very much like these fans. These are the same ones that I just bought, and they come with this sweet little box that uh, makes it so you don't have to be super skilled at hiding wires because everything can just go to the back and then plug into this box and then it comes with a remote and then you can control it actually it comes with everything some of these rgbs don't they come with just the fans and then you're stuck trying to figure it out i like these some people don't like them but you can piggyback them off each other which is very convenient to the power supply i will show you what i mean in a second next i added the one terabyte hard drive just for storage reasons we still have the m2 as your main primary that you'll uh, have in when you install windows um i already went over the motherboard i went up to a 650 watt power supply and the nice thing about this one is that it comes with completely black wires rather than ketchup and mustard so it's easier to hide and the cord that i was talking about to piggyback them off of is Right there this one right at the bottom so you can just plug the fans in and it'll piggyback off each other and then you just keep on going until you have them all plugged in um and then i chose the exact same graphics card that i have in my main build i very much like it the msi uh 2060 it has a base clock speed of like i don't know something crazy like 7000 actually i can just open it up guys can check out my sweet temps yeah 7000 so the base clock there the max clock 7000 and this is without overclocking I have nothing special done to this this is my new sitting temp which is actually quite good considering the uh, temperature of my room it used to sit at like 37 40 on just an idle uh, for my GPU and then my CPU has gone down substantially as well to 33 so I'm pretty freaking happy about the liquid cooler it's definitely doing its job um next let's go back over to the cart i picked out the ryzen 7 2700 strictly because it has a very good sale as well uh the difference between these two really isn't too much uh the 2600 the other one that's currently 150 dollars but the average benchmark is six percent higher and 9% overclocking, it does come with two extra cores, so if you are looking for the better better processor, this one does take the cake, and also it does come with uh, this RGB fan that lights up all around. Uh, the other one is just a plain black like this, so you do get the RGB fan, as well as a little bonus for $50 plus the extra percent. I did compare the graphics card from the 590, the cheap one that I was recommending, to the, the uh, GPU I recommend it now, the same one as what I have, and you'll be getting an average of 34% higher and 37 overclock. So 40% better gaming experience, plus the extra 7% in processor. <clears throat> Next, 
next I picked out this case. This is a case that my cousin got. I was blown away by how nice this was, especially for the price. There are two different colors, and I'll show you what the difference is. There's black, and then there's white. It just, you know, just changes the backdrop. Both of them are the exact same. You just choose which one you want. Uh, the nice thing about this one is that it's really easy to set up. It has three fan spots up top, one fan spot at the back, the giant brick at the bottom that's very easy to hide things it also comes with only a couple cords to plug into your motherboard rather than having like seven that you need to figure out exactly how to plug it in if anyone's ever built a pc they know what i'm talking about it is a pain in the ass and you never get it right the first time some leds won't work this one only has two it's like next to impossible to screw up and then all this will light up at the front and then the side you do have to take the front off to fit the hard drive in which isn't the easiest thing you have to give it a very hard firm pull but other than that it has great ventilation it has a screen up top that's attached with a magnet so you can rinse it off every time it gets a little bit too much cat hair on it if you have a cat <laughs> and then the sides same thing those pop off the sides and great ventilation really really thick uh thick screen so it won't allow things in and I think that's it about that. And then the same Wi-Fi adapter, and then the same memory. You're not gonna get a better deal than $77 for 16 gigs at 3000 speed. And then your main storage will be the Western Blue. I recommend this one. I don't really know too much about. There is a cheaper one that I saw earlier. It's the bigger version of this. Let's just see if we can pull it up. I I don't know much about this company, but this one is $59, and we can quickly just see they don't advertise the same stats. Up to 560, 510 megabytes random, blah, 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 up to... Yeah, I, I don't know much about this, so I can't recommend this. But, uh... <clears throat> I do know that a lot of people very much enjoy the Western Blue M2 for the price. Like, it has way more reviews. I think you're just going to be better off with using this, even though they are quite, quite similar. Yeah, this one isn't that much better, but honestly, I would just choose this Western Blue one. You'll, uh, you'll be better off with it. And then, yeah, that's... The entire build it comes out to $997, just about exactly a thousand. You can lose the hard drive if you want, or you don't think you're going to use it, or need more than 500. But I would definitely recommend your favorite games to be saved onto this, plus Windows, and then your least favorite games, like smaller games, uh, on to the hard drive. And with videos, it's a little hard to get used to setting it up like that. But once you get the hang of it, like you'll you'll like it thanks again for watching guys